Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy and I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning, and things that happen in my real life. Today I have an update for the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan. If you are interested in this, then uh, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for today's video. All right, Paranormal Pantivity. It was it is a Pandastic Ladies collab group project, and it was created by Andrea at Pretty as a Peacock, um, which I think is a beautiful name. Um, it started last month on September twenty fourth, and it goes until September twenty fourth of twenty twenty three, and that the last Saturday of the month of September is National Ghost Hunting Day. And that's the day this started on. You can do this monthly or bi-monthly updates, um, having six products at a time, rolling or roulette style, or you can bring them all in if you prefer. Um, I don't remember how many prompts there are, but there are a good few. And it's all about the spooks and spirits and the things that go bump in the night. So the things I'm working, I decided to work on six products at a time and I'm just working my way rolling down the list of prompts that were created by Andrea. So the first prompt is for Poltergeist. That is something that gives you trouble because it is hard to use or faulty packaging. I chose a this bronzer by Medusa's Makeup in Sunkissed or Sunkissed Bronzer. Um, and it is too orange for me to wear as a bronzer, but I have taken the, uh, I'm going to try wearing it as a blush, and I think I found a way that it works. I am not wearing it today, but I could have. Um, this is what it looks like. It is very, very orange, and that is what a swatch looks like, and then you can sheer it out. Well, I did a terrible job of sharing it out, but there you go. If I put a, if I use a very light hand and a big fluffy brush, I can put this on as a blush, and it doesn't look terrible. Um, we'll see. I am still experimenting. Get my makeup wipe, makeup thing, eraser. That's what it's called, makeup eraser. Um, so my goal is to use it six times, or sorry, 13 times. I was looking at the next prompt. 13 times and so far this month I have worn it four times so I have nine more uses to go for that next is doppelganger um, something you have a double or a backup of and for that I brought in this nail polish from Sally Hansen it is their hardest nail polish in naughty cream because I have another color exactly like this in an Avon polish called vamp it up um, it is a dark red burgundy. We brought it in and we are right there. Over the last month, I've only used it once. My goal is to use it six times. I will show you a swatch of it. It is this one right here. Um, this one right next to it is Vamp It Up, which I had in another project. But they are pretty much identical. But yes, this is, uh, this is the one right here, at least as far as I know. And again, I could have forgotten. And did it the other way around, but I'm pretty sure that is it. They're, they're, yeah, they're pretty much identical. Anyway, so I have another shade of that, um, but this is getting low, and I would like to try and finish it, but I'm only bringing it in for six uses in this project. Over the last month, I've only used it once, so five more uses to go. I think I said all that already, but that's okay. Next up is for, uh, I got something in the way here. Hold on. Next is for White Lady, a white product or packaging, and for that I brought in my NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner in Pure White, and I am wearing it today on my lower waterline. My goal is to use it 13 times. I only have two uses marked, and I think that's because I put it aside thinking I wasn't working on it anymore because it wasn't previously in my, this is Fantasy Project. That project from last year, that project I wrapped up and did not put this back in. Um, I 
put it in this project and kind of forgot, so I forgot to use it, but I've used it two times. My goal is to use it 13, so I have 11 more uses to go on this. Not a problem because it is something that I use frequently and enjoy using. Uh, next is for Bloody Mary, and that is a product with a mirror. I brought in my uh, Odin's Eye Alva 2 uh, Mini Ocean Palette because I've got this and never used it. Uh, my goal is to bring it in for uh, No Pan Left Behind. And I'll try not to blind you. It does have a mirror. <laughs> and um, yeah, there are six shades and I want to use each one once. So far, I've only used this shade right here, which is in the outer corner of my look today. Um, to be honest, I threw it on last minute after doing this look because I forgot I hadn't used this palette at all. So one use down, and I have five more shades to work with. Um, yeah, I just, it, it's, yeah, no excuses. I just haven't gotten around to using it. Next is for Vanishing Hitchhiker. That is something that disappears quickly. And for that, I brought in my Spa Scriptions uh, Repairing Overnight Lip Mask because this is a nice hydrating product, but it only lasts for like five minutes and then it's gone. It just sort of evaporates off my lips. Um, but I keep using it. As you can see, I have had it in previous projects. Uh, when we brought it into this project, it was right here. And over the last month, I it is down to here. My goal was to use it 31 times and I have done that. I use it twice a day, every day. Um, there are probably a couple times that I missed because I don't do my skincare every day. Sometimes I get lazy. But I marked every use instead of every day. Every use and I've used it 31 times. So this product is rolling out. Yay! Gotta have something. And then next for Gremlin, a mini or deluxe sized product, I brought in the teeny tiniest eye cream. This is by uh, First Aid Beauty. They're eye duty niacinamide brightening cream and my goal was to finish it when i brought it into the project we were right here and now we are down here so i just have just the littlest bit down here at the bottom um i have not used it every day i only have that i've used it 26 times over the last month um i do notice that sometimes my eyes feel a little irritated when i put something on um so i don't know if this is the cause but i'm treating it as the cause and occasionally because it wasn't happening before i started using this so i think this is the cause my my eyes do get a little irritated and sensitive but nothing dra tragic drastic no no red no blotchiness just feel a little not not quite happy so i don't use it every day every other day i use a different eye cream and um, I'm rotating that. I use this morning and night, mainly at night now, I think, or in the morning. I can't remember. I'm only using it once a day now um, because, like I said, I am feeling some irritation, and that doesn't feel good. But I am determined to use it up. It's not, like I said, drastic, so there's no blotchiness, no redness, no peeling, no cracking, no nothing like that. It just doesn't feel great. All right, so that brings, so we have one rollout this month that was the lip mask. So we're going to bring one new item in. The next item on the list is Screaming Skulls. Uh, and so that, the prompt for that is a Halloween or scary themed item. I'm going with my BH Cosmetics Venom palette from their Poison Shock. It's pretty scary. Take a bite. And I am bringing in this shade right here called Silent Killer. Because Screaming Skulls would be silent killers, in my opinion. It is a beautiful dark gray metallic. And my goal is to use that 13 times because, you know, spooky season. 13. And that is everything for this update. 
If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed me and want to see more of my content and have not already done it, why not hit the subscribe button? And if you want, you can hit the notification bell too so that they will notify you every time I upload a video. And until then, remember to take care of yourselves, be true to you, and stay spooky. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!